Hey everyone, this is JT with the solution to the Banano bookshelf puzzle. I hope you had fun trying to solve it, and congratulations to the first person who was able to solve it. This one was fairly tricky. Part of the reason being was that it was hard to determine if the solution was a private key or a mnemonic phrase. In the puzzle, this pattern, which I'm calling a bookshelf, <laughs> does sort of look like a bookshelf. Um, that pattern fills in four times, or I'm sorry, it fills in three times. There are 32 of these different square patterns on each one of the bookshelves, so that's a total of 96 squares to get filled in with a pattern. Well, that's more than the 64 digits of a private key, and not immediately obvious how that relates to a mnemonic phrase. But the solution is a mnemonic phrase, and yeah, let's get into the solution. So this puzzle starts with what I'm calling the bookshelf completely empty, and then on each subsequent frame, four of these square patterns fill in. So each of these patterns has consists of one of the longer, let's call them one of the longer books, and then four of the smaller books as well. One of them's at, if you look in this bottom left corner, it's a red, it's on the bottom. We have one that's on the top, and then this blank one that's on the left, and then the orange is on the right. So every time, so each frame, four new squares fill in. There's always one on the bottom, top, left, and right. That, that doesn't matter, that was just an artistic thing, but what does matter is the color of the longer book. So there's one that's white, there's one that's this like lighter tan color, then the orange color, then the red color. So the pattern goes from white to tan to orange to red, and each one of these patterns corresponds to a letter. The letter is given by this, it's a base three code. There's green, white, and yellow. So yellow or white goes to zero, yellow goes to one, and green to two. If we continue further on in the video, we notice that after the first time the patterns are filled in, then this pink bar is filled in. And that just basically means that that was a pattern from a previous one, and to just not look at it for that frame. So as we go through this, further along, the ones that are relevant to that frame will be the patterns that have filled in, but that do not have a pink bar. So for example, in this one here, we have this one in the upper right hand corner where the green bar filled in, but there is this pink bar isn't there anymore. So let's get back to the beginning of this and start solving it. Hopefully it'll make a little bit more sense as we go. So all right, here's the first frame. The first pattern is this one that has the white longer bar but also still has some colors filled in on the right side and when we're turning these into the base 3 code we're basically going left to right but from the perspective of the longer book or bar being sort of on the bottom so from its perspective this this red one is going to be we're only taking the last three digits too so this is going to be a zero zero one for this red and then for orange, it's going to be 0, 2, 1, because we're basically orientating ourselves to so this orange bar is on the bottom, and we're reading left to right. So that's 0, 2, 1. This first bar, of course, just being the one that turns pink in each frame. So this very first pattern is going to be the patterns, the base 3 code is going to be 1, 2, 0. So let's just start writing that in. So 1, 2, 0. Then we have, moving to the second one, we have 200. Zero, zero. In this case, moving right to left, because if we flip that around, from the perspective of this colored in bar, we're still be moving left to right, so that's 200. Zero, zero. Then we have 021 for the orange bar pattern, and then red is going to be 001. So that is going to help us get the first word as we continue along to the second pattern. Notice how the pink bar is filled in, basically saying that's a pattern from a previous frame. Don't pay attention to that one. Just pay attention to the other ones. So for the second word, the first pattern is this one here, 001. Again, left to right, assuming this white bar is kind of on the bottom. Then this tan one, 002. 
orange is 0, 0, 1, and then red is going to be 1, 1, 2. Moving along, the third pattern, let's see, we have 1, 0, 0. This tan pattern here is 0, 1, 1. And then 1, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 2. And let's keep that there because eventually these patterns will go to numbers just like kind of in this grid here where we start with A as 0, 0, 1, then B is 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0 is C, so we're just basically counting in base 3 all the way up through Z which is 2, 2, 2. But let's, let's get through the first few of these. So this was that one next all right zero zero two one two zero one one two and zero one two with that red I am going to stop there I'm just going to do four just show you how you guys work you have to go through the rest of this and in total there's 24 words and they are in the order that the patterns are filled in. So the first word is going to be related to this first pattern with 120, 200, zero, zero, that, that very first one. So based on our key here, we're basically just counting from starting with 1 is A, all the way through 222 two, two is Z. That's, that's our key. We see that a 120 is an O, and then R, and then G, and then A, so O-R-G-A which I believe that turns into organ. Well, let's write it like this, organ, and let's do that. So these are the four digits we get, and then this is the final word from the BIP39 list. So this one here is, that next one is gonna be A, B, A, 112 is an N. I believe this is abandon. And then the next one's going to be I, Zero one one to D, and then L, and then E. That one is just the word idle. And then for this fourth word, we have B. One two zero is an O. One one two is an N. Zero one two is an E. I believe that's just bone, but we can check. So these are the first four words, and to get those from just the first four, we go through the, here's the complete list of all 2,048 words that can be used. We search for the first four letters, and here it is. Here's word number 1,252 is the word organ. So that that's our first word. We can look up this next one, A, B, A, N, which is actually the first one, abandon. Then we have, I mean idle is just idle, but we can, yeah, that's the only one. And notice how there's only, only one word that starts with those four letters. And then bone, yeah, that's just bone. So go through, basically do this for the whole thing. You'll get 24 words and they'll just be in in this order, and that's the solution. And here's the final solution down here. There's the first four that we did above, and here's all 24. So congratulations again to the person who was able to solve this, and good luck on the puzzles that have yet to be solved.